Welcome back to Rock to Promo. I'm your host, Joe Santagato. Rock the Promo is a weekly competition where contestants lay the verbal smackdown on each other until one remains. After thousands of people submitted their own wrestling promos, The Rock selected 32 people to compete. Now those contestants are in a single elimination bracket to find out who's going to be the champion. Today we're looking at the bottom right side of the bracket. These four matchups are going to close out the first round. Once again, these contestants will be judged on the three C's. Character, comedy, and costume. So let's meet our guest judge, Shane Hurricane Helms. He's a real life superhero, the longest reigning cruiserweight champion, and he once chokeslammed The Rock. I didn't want to say that. I didn't, don't fire me. I just, they wrote it down. I didn't. Hey, full disclosure, I actually choke slammed the Scorpion King. So while it wasn't necessarily the rock, we'll just leave that as it is. All right, let's finish out round one. The Shocker versus the good guy. I am the Shocker, the world's best and only pro wrestling magician, which means I'm the guy who's gonna kick your ass as I pretend to do Harry Potter stuff. But I'm gonna take the mask off just so you know who you're dealing with. I'm sorry, I didn't really pay attention to this promo because did you see that ass in the first second of the promo? I just paused the video. I didn't watch the rest of it. I hope someone else did. I hope that Shane watched the rest of it. Now, first of all, let me agree with Joe because that shot of the ass totally distracted me too. And then I heard what I thought was Seth Rogen talking and it turns out it's the Shocker. So I'm looking at some girl's ass and I'm hearing the name the Shocker and I almost just lost complete attention, everything. I'm still befuddled by that. That being said, he blocked off his promo really well, and the delivery was strong, so I give him two thumbs up. Let's see what the good guy has to offer. Every story has a good guy, and that's me. I'm the good guy. I'm the one making your family bond on weekends. I'm the one kissing your germ-infested babies, and I'm the one influencing your kids to be more than you could ever be. You see, you're here to live vicariously through me because this is my story. And I'm always the center of every story. Just like Rock the Promo Contest, that is a chapter in my book, and it's already been written. That championship belongs to me, and my opponents will sleep at night knowing they could never match my morals, they could never match my goodness. Because I reign supreme. I'm the good guy, and this is my story. Why is this guy dressed like he's dead and in a casket. Like that's how they dress up dead bodies. I don't understand the outfit. I couldn't really understand what you were saying, but whatever. Shane, what do you think? Well, first of all, the good guy kind of looked like the smooth criminal Michael Jackson. So uh, I'll give him a little bit of that, but it wasn't very original because I started thinking about somebody else. But the delivery was good. I understand the character. So I'm kind of on the fence with him. All right, Shane, so who's moving on and who's living out of the dumpster behind Denny's? I got to go with my brother in the mask. The Shocker wins. Sorry, good guy. Better luck next time. All right, so congratulations to the Shocker. I think he won just because of that girl's ass in the first second of the video, but that's just me. Let's move on to our next matchup. Roger Hansen versus Honey Tiger. Roger Hansen here, Brooklyn, New York. 6'2", 230 pounds, ow, of comedic confidence. This is not my first time at the rodeo, rock the promo. It's my second time. Oh, just so you know, I am the son of the greatest clown in Brooklyn, Lily Beth, the legendary clown. She headed me her business when I was 18, and I've been doing it for the past 10 years. Backyards, bar mitzvahs, live shows, schools. I've been around. Mm. Now, rock. I bet you're asking yourself, huh, does this guy got what it takes? Let me tell you something, buddy. I've been doing this. I shot this promo because I was bored. The competition for the show, a piece of cake. Roger Hansen has personality. I like this kid. He's a clown, like an actual clown. He said he was a clown. His mom was like a clown, and now he's a clown. He's been, he's been a clown for years. Well, my first thought was the guy sounds exactly like Stifler. That being said, his resume was that he's a second generation clown, and I've never heard that, so I'm gonna give him two thumbs up for that. Let's see what Honey Tiger has. Honey Tiger. <laughs> Supper time, kitties. I've got a little place for my competition. I may look friendly, 
The remaining six tiger subspecies have been classified as endangered. Number seven isn't on that list. I'm never gonna be extinct. Why am I gonna win this? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I could slay a makeup tutorial on YouTube. There's no expiration date on this. I have a voracious appetite for sugar. Let's be honest. Once upon a time, I dressed up like a tiger on Instagram. Come on, my tits may never look this good in another push-up bra ever again. Now, Honey Tiger has like a sex phone operator voice, but she's also kind of fierce at the same time. So like, I was scared, but I also was like rock solid the entire time. Let's see what Shane thinks. Honey Tiger was, was probably the toughest decision I had, cause visually, she brought more to the table than anybody else. However, this wasn't a promo, this was more of a vignette. It was cut, it was spliced, it wasn't that live promo that you had to do live in front of an audience like we do. So, she loses points for that. But, do the visual points take over? I gotta think about this. All right, Shane, so who's moving on and who's trying to convince their landlord that Monopoly money is legal tender? Like I said, this was a tough one, but I'm gonna have to go with Roger Hansen. He had the energy, he had the better promo, and despite Honey Tiger having more ample assets that I generally like, I gotta go with Roger Hansen. All right, well, congratulations, Roger Hansen. Let's move on to the next matchup. The IT Man versus Dirty South Texas. The IT Man is here. IT Man comes from MIT Tech, and I've been studying a long time, fixing computers, fixing hard drives, putting them together, ripping them apart, and now I'm about to rip apart skulls. Sir, did you turn off and turn back on your, you know, what's your, wait, what, what's that? Well, how about I just turn on and turn off your career? The fact of the matter is this, when I hit you with my finishing move, the I-O-S-T-F, you will tap out. When it comes to the competition of this contest, I have the biggest hard drive, and that's right, I have massive RAM. This guy said he had massive RAM, and then he went like this. Like, I can just tell by looking at him that no, you fucking don't. He did make IT guys look tough for a second there, though, because they're usually, like, nerdy, okay? Listen, I'm sorry I'm making fun of you guys. Don't cut my Wi-Fi. Right away, I was sold on the IT man. He had the little Matrix special effects. I love the Matrix, so right away, I was interested. He had good delivery. There's some originality there. I'm sold on the IT man, but does the IT man have it? Let's move on to Dirty South Texas. Knock, knock! Who's there? Oh, it's Dirty South Texas! Here to claim what's mine! I'll rock you and have a competition and not invite the DST while you're out of your damn mind! Let me tell you one thing, other competitors, you might try, you might try to climb that ladder off DST's back. Well, DST has one thing to say, ah, ah, not happening on my watch, because DST is the greatest fighter. DST is the sexiest lover. DST can clean a tray of mamacitas enchiladas in one sitting. So come on, competitors, bring the best you got. Come on, Rock, let me have it, because it's time to get dirty. Is that Fat Joe? Seriously, is that Fat Joe? I don't know. Is that Fat Joe? All the way up, you know him. Whoever this guy is, he sounds like Jabba the Hutt trying to drown his sorrows in a Long John Silvers. Shane, what do you think? Now, Dirty South, now I appreciate your energy, and I appreciate how loud you were, but you look like somebody that's just imitating somebody else. It didn't come off to me like it was really you. And I'm not sure about that black snake you got crawling across your lip, because I'm not a fan of those either. So, I don't know about you, bro. Okay, Shane, who's moving on and who's gonna write an angry letter to the FCC? This was the easiest one of the group. The IT man, hands down, slam dunk, choke slams. All right, congratulations to the IT man. Let's move on to our last matchup of the first round. Jack the Rabbit versus The Vacation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jack the Rabbit. And I am the baddest bunny on the planet. Now you might have heard of Peter Cottontail, Roger Rabbit, the Easter Bunny, Bugs Bunny, What's up Doc? These other rabbits can't suck my carrot. And as for you other jackalopes out there who think they could take my rock, the promo belt, who think they got what it takes? <laughs> you don't know Jack. Cut the video. Someone get me some ranch for this. What was, what was my favorite movie when I was younger? Good question. It was Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's out the fucking window now. Thanks a lot, Jack. Jack asked the rabbit is what he came across. I appreciate all the puns, 
but there were too many and then it just became punishing. I'm not sold on Jack the Rabbit. I don't give a damn about a rabbit. Let's take a look at the vacation. Rise and grind is what you've all been working for. The vacation. The vacation has his mind on the beach, getting a tan in the sand with a cocktail in his hand. While you promo phonies are searching for inspiration, the vacation is flying first class non-stop to Egypt. Just so we can find a random hill in the desert, stop and yell, Haku Mashente. So how am I gonna win the Rock the Promo Championship belt? I'll tell you how. It's because this vacation is all inclusive. And on my resort, the Rock Clock is always set to happy hour. You can smell what my room service is cooking. So if you're looking for trouble, book a trip. But make sure you pack proper because the vacation, well, I got nothing to do and all day to do it. Life's a beach, ain't it? This guy looks like my cousin. I, I fucking hate my cousin. <laughs> I am really impressed with the amount of Hawaiian shirts that this guy has. The wardrobe gets A plus. Shane, what do you think? Now the vacation did what my girl Honey Tiger did. And as he didn't do a promo per se, as much as he did a spliced together vignette. However, he did it really well. Every line flowed into the next line, he sold in his gimmick, he believed in his gimmick, he believed in his character, and he made me believe. So vacation, you get points for that. Okay, Shane, so who's moving on and who's going back to living vicariously through their children? This one was easy too. The vacation with another slam dunk, Verda Breaker on Jack the Rabbit, and get Jack out of here. One, two, three. Congratulations to my cousin, The Vacation. Shane, do you have any advice to the contestants that are remaining? Believe in your words, believe in your promo. Trust me, the audience will not believe if you don't. So bring the originality, bring the creativity, bring that energy, but more than anything, bring the believability. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Well, thank you, Shane, for being here. Thanks for having me here. Rock, you're one of a kind. I'm sorry for what I did to the Scorpion King. You're still not getting a rematch. I need my undefeated streak to live on. Thanks everyone for watching. Shane Hurricane Helms. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Come back next week for round two, where the contestants will be making brand new videos dissing each other. Judged by Christian, Captain Charisma himself. I'll see you next time on Rock the Promo. Again, Shane, congratulations on choke slamming the rock. I'm getting fired. I hope you're fucking happy. <laughs>